As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I'm actually going to be taking my GR86 down the drag strip today. Alright you guys, so as you can see, I got both my wristbands now. I got the car teched in and everything. Um, I'm going to have to go up there and wait for them to write like a little number on the side of the car. I'm a little nervous you guys, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's a lot of people here too, and this is my like first time actually doing anything with my car in front of a crowd of people. So I got to make sure I don't like <laughs> stall it or something on the line. And this is also my first time ever going down a drag strip. So this is all really new to me, you guys. So I'm gonna take this first one kind of easy. I'm not gonna push it too hard on the first one. Like um, we have all night to be able to do as many passes as we want in the car. So I'll take it easy on the first one. And within these next few passes, we'll go a little bit harder. I don't even know if I'm gonna use the launch control in this first time going out. I might just launch off the foot, like from like a, I don't really know if I'm even gonna really wanna try and drop the clutch either, you guys. I might just try and slip it kinda easily on this first one just to kinda feel how sticky the track is. I don't know how much prep they put down. So I don't wanna, if you guys know about these cars, like the first gen and these second gens, they don't really have the best of axles. <laughs> so I don't wanna snap anything when I'm out there or break anything, of course. So we'll just see how it goes on this first one. Loki got me. Loki got me nervous though. That shit was like spinning like crazy, but that was pretty good. Not gonna lie, first run. Definitely gotta let the car cool down after that. Oh my god, this road is bumpy. But I'm curious to see what kind of um, times I can get. If you guys aren't familiar, I know I'm pretty sure this is an eighth mile track, and the stock GR86 BRZ I'm pretty sure pulls in around like a 10.5 in the eighth mile, and I think like a 14 three or 14 four in the quarter mile so if you guys aren't familiar with my car and what I have done to it all I have really so far is a PLM catless headers an AWE track catback exhaust and then my Velocitech Ram air intake and if you guys most recently saw the video I just did um, I just put a boosted performance tune on my car so I'm honestly kind of expecting to get maybe around the tens low tens that's where you want to hoping for if we can get into the nines that'd be awesome but i'm really good it's gonna take some practice like i said it's my first time out here so we'll just see how it goes you guys all righty thank you so much what time did they get an 11 11 seconds so 11 one that wasn't pretty terrible launch though i'm not gonna lie so we'll just see i'll let the car cool down you guys maybe go watch some drifting in the meantime and then we'll go back out and see how the car can do what do you got done to the car it's, it's stock okay 
all I have is an exhaust, headers, and an intake. So, I mean, it's still pretty relatively stock. And, and, and I just got a tune on it, too. So, I mean, it's still, yeah. Like 220-ish, 228. Okay. This is this is like my first time out here, so I'm still kind of new to this. Is it? Yeah. Good luck. Is it automatic? It's a manual. So I have it set at 3,500 this time. We'll see how this goes up against the sea. Uh, I'm a little nervous. You're not gonna lie. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna try and I. I kind of just dropped the clutch the last time I went out there and as you guys saw I was spinning like crazy so I'm gonna kind of try and slip it a little bit easier this time and just see how that goes I'm a little nervous racing this HRZ right here so we'll see how this goes More nervous this time because I'm actually racing someone. Same thing, pull forward just a little bit more. Watch the tree in front of you, go slow. Keep going a little bit more. Okay, stop right there. Four more inches, go forward a little bit more. Okay, all night long, it's gonna be the same exact way. Got you, man. sick my launch was like it bogged off the launch are you are you guys able to go back up one more time or no yeah, or do you want to cool the car down or do you want to, are you down to go back up yeah, yeah. you're doing okay yeah, we're right now. all right bet, let's do it we're gonna try and get another run in with this z i definitely feel like i was catching back up to him it was just that launch i needed to set it up a little higher that's the only problem bro i got a nine one that time in the eight Okay, I don't know if that's true or not. Hold on a second, because that's because if the stock GR86 is running like a 10.0, a 10.3, that was a 9.1. That'd be a whole second faster, honestly. So, as I said, we're gonna do a rerun against this Z. Now that I'm gonna try and see if, honestly, it might be better slipping the clutch, or I haven't decided if I want to try and launch it again with the launch control. I'm gonna try right here and see how it sounds because the issue that I had last time was when I did it at like 35 ish 38 it would go it would like rev up and then it would bounce down like another 500 R ish RPMs and then go back up again and right when I went off the clutch it was like down in RPM so I couldn't really launch it that well so I'm kind of trying to decide whether or not I still want to use the launch control or not I might just slip the clutch that might be better for me to do but I guess we'll just see. I'm gonna try and use a launch control right here and just see how it sounds. I didn't mean to start at that. <laughs>
Oh, did I get him on the end? Did I get him on the end? I don't know. bro good shit bro that was an awesome run man yes, sir. Right, you too brother you too all right let's go you guys i'm happy with that i was still spinning a little bit just because i did the launch control but honestly i'm happy with that i might call it a night there you guys might just go get some uh clips of some people drifting and whatnot but i'm really happy with that that was an hrz you know, it's. he said not much has been done to it, which is still pretty relatively stock, but I'm pretty sure those uh, HRs make a pretty decent amount of horsepower. And obviously you guys, this car isn't meant for straight line racing. I'll be the first to say that. I didn't buy this car so I could take it down a drag strip like this. Um, I just, I saw the opportunity come up. They, uh, they only do this event, I think like once every month or so. So I figured, it was only like $15, $20 or so to actually take my car down the strip and then another like $15, $30 to actually get in. So I figured why not, you guys, it'd be a cool video for you guys to all see to kind of see what kind of times I can put out with the car. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. We'll just see where it goes from here. See the time, you guys. Oh, 9.3, that was slower. Oh, wait. No, wait, I'm in the left lane. I beat him. <laughs> I beat him! Let's go, bro! I beat him! 9-2! 9-2, bro! Let's go, bro! Hell yeah, man! Good shit, bro! Bro, you, that was slower than I know, I know. Time. You ran a 9-2. I know. But you pat, bro! I got him at the it. edge. Bro, he said, he was like, wow, he's like, that's the best run I've ever done with anything. Holy in shit! My life. Oh my. So we just got done with that third and final run, probably, of the day. I'm gonna just show you guys all the time slips so far. So, First run I did, I was in the right lane and I got an 11 second pass for the uh, eighth mile, which I'm not gonna lie, isn't the greatest, but as I said, it was the very first pass I ever took on a drag strip. So I was kind of just feeling it out. Second pass um, was right here. I actually got a 9-1 in the eighth mile, which was the best time of the day. Um, that was against the Z, which he got a 9-3-8 and then the last time was a 9-2 and it was 9-3 for the right lane. So <laughs> I'm super happy with that, you guys. I feel like the car did great. Um, it was a little stressful in the car, I'm not gonna lie. But like I said, I, this is my very first time ever doing this. I don't know how often I'm gonna do it. Let me know what you guys think in the down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. That way you guys should stay up to date on content that I make just like this. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.